Hey everybody, this is Brittany here with Surfing Waves of Light and today I'm going to channel a message for you all. So um, the guides are already quite present. I'm going to bring them through and then we can, um, yeah, then I'll share some things at the end about me and some other stuff that I've channeled on paper plates. That's my preferred mode of channeling. Uh, paper plates just got a really big download so I'm excited to share but they want to channel first and then I'm gonna share and um, anyway love you guys so much thank you for being here see you guys at the end Greetings, dear beings. We are the spirit guides. We are a sprinkly, magnetic, sparkly, glittery like collective of energetic vibrations that exist in a physical and non-physical form simultaneously. We are the quantum dust that makes up this universe. We are part of the creative energy we are part of the energy that influences you and we are a part of the collective consciousness and we are ever so pleased to be with you all. We have been sowing seeds of influence upon many of you spiritual conscious beings at this time. You have been led down non-traditional paths. You have been brought to the edges of earth in consciousness that you never thought you would get to. You are living on the fringes of society, so to speak, and you are looking at life in a new way. And this is part of our influence. This is part of our connection. We are the sparkle. We are the thought that turns into thing. We are the loving energy of the universe, of source, of all that is. We are that which transforms into physicality. And this is quite a magical and majestic experience to be. It is quite an experience to be part of the energy team that changes matter. And this is something you are all capable of. This is what you are all learning at this time. You are learning to change matter. And as you go through this process, there is a lot of releasing that needs to be done. There is a lot of shifting of the foundations of how you operate your operating system at its core was indoctrinated with some low frequency unstable foundations and now we are really getting the opportunity to do the work the work of clearing the work of releasing the work that the other beautiful energies that come through this being speak of often and, and frequently in time we are the sparkle. We are an energy that flows within all that accept us. And so those of you that are accepting us at this time may be feeling a heaviness, a deep heaviness, a lot of harsh climates energetically. You may be feeling there is much distraction, much heaviness we see heaviness that is how you are perceiving this time there are heavy thoughts there are heavy situations and so we are here to remind you that as you are feeling this heaviness and maybe looking around you and seeing other beings who are flowing through life seemingly flawlessly we want to remind you that when your foundations are cracked and they are not fixed this is not a strong place to begin a campaign from and you all are taking the deeper journey you are going within you are not just projecting your egoic consciousness out into the world you are doing the structural structural work of fixing the foundations and this is admirable this is brave work there are many avenues on this planet that offer things that can bring the ego great joy lots of attention fame, money, there are all sorts of motivations and not that you to, you should shy away from these, but you should know that as this 
deep, long and intense full moon is starting to wane its energies, this is showing you that you energetically were, were just at a high volume turned up expression. And when the expression is turned up, anything that is low frequency, especially now that you are vibrating higher, is going to be elevated. It is going to be magnified. It is going to be heard above the gentle whispers of the universe, of the sparkle, of all that is influencing you from love at this time. And so if you are feeling this heaviness, if you are feeling like you don't see light in the future, you don't know what is going on, you don't have a clear vision of your life, this is because many of you are not ready for a clear vision of your lives because you would not understand it. You see, the roles that many of you came to play, they are not yet in reality, so to speak. In this timeline, they are not yet really even imaginable or discoverable because the shifts that are occurring on this plane are happening so fast and the lifetime you came here to live was full of many lifetimes. Often a lifetime comes with one lesson and yet some beings came here this time to do a lot of work, to do a lot of unweaving, to live out many lessons in one life and that is what you are doing. And so when you see yourself fluctuating between an up of peace and light and meditation and joy and a down of dark thoughts of unforgiving ideas of judgments and comparisons of others, do not fret because all the beings on this planet who went through the traditional training of this society, they have these feelings and emotions within them. And some of you decided that you would navigate the way to release them first. It is easy to be conditioned with an idea, but it is much harder to release an idea. That is challenging. It is challenging to surface a thought that is not loving, something that is embarrassing or shameful. And yet this is what we are doing at this time. We have asked many of you to create time and space in your life for spirit. We ask this being to choose a route of freedom over money, over having a house, over having many things, because it is through having choice in time that we can be the leaders of your life. When you are not in control of the day-to-day -day driving of your life, it is hard for spirit to come in and say to you to do something in the non-traditional path. And now some beings are meant to be where they are. They are meant to be in lives where spirit is not as involved in the way that they are involved with this being with many of you out there listening to this message because you have come here to be pioneers, to be frontiersmen, to pave a new path. And those that are not listening to this channeling that are on a more normal trajectory of society, they are the aspect of you that you came to heal. Now that does not mean that you talk to them or pursue them or tell them what to do. No, you are seeing them out there to remind you of what you could have or still can become if you do not continue to listen to spirit. And this is not in any sort of intense way. We are just letting you know that oftentimes, just as we put examples of inspiration in your life, we also place contrast nearby for many of you are very in tune with your feeling self. And so when you are close to energies that are not in alignment with choices that are in your highest good, you will feel this. And this is good. We like that so many of you are getting so tuned in that you're starting to find that much of your life has tuning to do. There are people, there are places, there are things that once brought you joy that are now starting to feel like they're moving into the past and it will feel sad. It will feel like grief. It'll feel even sometimes like there is an isolation, but we tell you that because this world is so intense, you all have not a true meaning of what isolation is. This being will be out of the loop for 24 hours or even a week. She will be sick or something else and feel like she has missed a lifetime. And yet this cannot be further from the truth. The truth is, is that when you go inside, when you bring yourself 
into who you are, when you create time and space for your creations, for your releasing, for this work that you came here to do, you are accelerating your path and you are allowing more light to come in. And as this light comes in, us, the sparkly magic dust that is around you, we can work with you more. We can bring things to light faster. But when there are dark, hidden depth beliefs that are unloving, unpure thoughts, that is when we have to be careful with the creative abilities we give to you we help you to resonate with we will say for it is always your choice but we are also protectors we can see when you have an idea or a vision that is of whatever source and we will be able to see where the ego is influencing that idea and so we will be protective about not allowing a manifestation to occur if there is an ego thought, idea, or belief that would be deeply reinforced due to that manifestation and therefore cause you more harm than good in the future. And that is why most manifestors find that they bring to light, they bring into creation things that are not so deeply held. They are, they are general, they are loving, they are with the flow. They are not these concrete things necessarily Concrete in a way, yes, you could bring into your re reality a surfboard, a house, a guitar, a, a private island. But there is, when the being is feeling the feelings to grant that manifestation, to bring it to life, there is a lightness to not having an expectation of the full outcome, of the outcome related to that specific image, however the being perceives and is projecting it, they are aware that their mind being multiplicity, multiplicity separated from universe, it is distorted. They understand that their ideas are distorted because they are still not of pure love. And so they can recognize that the way the manifestation will come into light may be different. It will contain the symbols and the themes of the idea the dreamer was dreaming. But because the universe is all knowing, is all magical, is the separated consciousness times infinity, we can take that image and we can artificially, not artificially, but Imagine if you gave something to AI and imagine that times a million hundred thousand exponential plus love times love. That is what we can do to your ideas. That is what we can do to your dreams and your visions. And so when the electricity is turned up as it was in the full moon, you are getting to see the ego thoughts. You are getting to see the distortions that we are needing you to see and clear in order to bring your manifestations to light. If you dream a vision or set an intention and then bad things happen to you, know that those things are serving your purpose. Know that you are having growth experiences, that these situations are releasing emotions. They are bringing your awareness into bodily feelings that need to be felt because you are ready to feel them. And this is the bravest thing a being can do, to feel their feelings and then honor that to commit to something in the future. And when in the moment you feel tired, you feel rushed, you feel ungrounded, you say no, knowing that you are free to choose in every moment what you wish to do. This society is so full of binding your time, binding your energy. It needs to know that something is going to occur. So it sets a time, it sets a date, it sets a meeting. And yet we want you to know that when you're in the flow, you can be guaranteed 120% that you will be having the meetings, you'll be having the interactions you need to have. If you follow your feelings, it will lead you to where you need to go. If you are deeply stuck in having to have something occur, that can play a different role. Now there's nothing wrong with setting dates and setting times. This is okay. This is part of this reality. But we are always going to encourage you to spend time in flow because that is the experience that many of you are lacking. Most of you are aware of scheduling and going to parties and going out and doing these things. You have had plenty of experiences with that, but how many of you have had the time and chance to just be, to just truly feel in every moment 
what would I do now? What would I do now? And we tell you when you first even begin to have free time, it will be overwhelming. You will not be sure what you want because even if people are not around you, you will still be hearing their voices in your head. You are still going to be feeling the patterns and conditionings. So this releasing must occur because as we create the situations that help you to heal, you become stronger, you become more aware, you become more willing, you become more available to us. And as you are aligned with our path, you will be happier, you will be more at peace when you let go of the objectives, whether you realize you are, you are holding them or not, that are of the earthly domain. Again, not to say you must be poor and homeless and any sort of typecast into spirituality, no. It is just that you can manifest the flow of abundance to you and then you can also have time and space and energy to be loved. You can find that balance. You can find the balance where spirit leads a lot most of your life and you still have your day-to-day -day commitments as we have planned them. We have this work in place because some of that is flow for you. And so there is a balance. We have found that this being has struck a beautiful balance. She is at a place in her life where she can support her life. She can live and she can create. And this has been overwhelming for her. She has had so much releasing since she has really finally came on board to this place where she realizes she has done it. And yet the celebration has not been on the forefront of her mind because as she got to this level, there has been a pouring out of other thoughts, beliefs, and ideas that have been blocking her ability to create from this new foundation and yet now she is really getting it. And so before this video, we channeled to her some of the values of Surfing Waves of Light, what part of her work is going to be because we have finally got her focus full and attentive on where it needs to be and this is also what is happening for you. So if you are feeling the worst you ever felt, if you are having situations that are unloving, we want you to know that we are clearing to create, clearing to create, clearing to create. And your creations may not look like others because you are bringing in something new. This world has been full of 3D expression and we are inviting you to do 4 and 5D level expression and this will come in a different way. This will come in a way that has not been seen. So please be patient with yourselves. Please be kind. We are here with you at all times, the energies of creation to co-create with you. Call upon us when you are in a good feeling place because you cannot hear us when the thoughts are loud. And so be okay when you are not feeling well, when the thoughts are negative, just be okay with that. Be okay with what is, we are still holding you. We are still supporting you. Clearing out is the process of creation. It is where the creation comes from. All the garbage, as it moves through you, it leaves behind these gems, these sparkles, these lights, and that is what we are. We are the gems and sparkles and lights that come from the healing in any situation. No matter what you have done, there is nothing you can do wrong that we cannot create from. That is what this plane is about, learning that love does not ever end. And even when you think you are in an unloving place, even when the most unloving thing happens to you or you portray that action, it is still a place of creation. And so you will be able to learn from it and you will be able to know that even as a murderer or a rapist or the worst thing that you could ever imagine, even as something like that happened to or was done to you, you can know that there is love that can surround, that can be come through that and leave a crystal creation when the healing process has completed. And so this is where we are with you, with this being we are in the clearing to create process. It is, it is like climbing Mount Everest, dear beings. It seems to get easier, but it also gets harder and the oxygen gets thinner, but that is because you are breathing more light. That is because you are moving away from oxygen and you are moving into the light and with light, not much else is needed on this planet, including oxygen. And so that is the vision we will leave you with today. And we are so pleased that you have had the chance to channel, to hear our channeling because this being listened to her guidance today. She rested because she has not been feeling well and she allowed us the sparkle of light to put our lenses on her after a long couple of days with some very low negative thoughts. And we are the creator beings. We are with you. We are sparkling. We are shining and we are glittering. And we hope that you call upon us 
to know that you are on the right track and that we are protecting you and helping you to bring your best life, the loving life that is meant for all into reality. You are the creators and we will speak to you again at another time. <sighs> all right. So that was the creators, <laughs> the creator sparkle. I'm not even sure what they said. So yeah, so um, I'll just comment on what they said. So they sent me this message that for these videos, they want me to have a new format where I channel a message and share a story or vice versa. And I know I do that sometimes, but I haven't been doing it intentionally. A lot of times I come into these videos and I don't even know what I'm going to say. And so now they're adding some structure and format and uh, encouraging me to share. I sometimes get caught up on what I'm meant to create and my ego gets really loud and there's all these things that I feel I need to do. And they were just reminding me tonight that my, um, well, here's some of the values they brought through for Surfing Waves of Light. One is that I'm an intuitive communicator I'm here to channel, write, sing, song, dance, play, surf. Those are my jobs and bring through messages of love no matter what I'm doing. Um, they also said that, oh, they said that I think my thoughts are mine, but they are not. They said that they, I don't always recognize that so many of my thoughts are channeling our high frequency loving messages. I just think everyone thinks the same way as I do. And so that's part of sometimes what blocks me from creation. So that was, I think, just a little clearing. Another value is authenticity. All output is aligned with bringing love into every single individual moment. The goal is always love and not money, not likes or projected images. Um, freedom and love are also part of my values. Depth. Here's another value. And I'm sharing these values with you because I think these values go for all of us. So um, they are just bringing these to, to light because when my mind does get pulled down into the dark, into the depths, into the really low frequency thoughts of I'm not good enough, what's the point of all this, this is getting old, <laughs> tired of being here, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't have a clear vision for my life, I think these values will help us to be able to see the vision because as they said, after a few days of pretty dark thoughts, um, I've been, and I've been kind of sick for like a week. I've had these, like my spine is hot every single day when I wake up. And then sometimes I just get hot in my head, but I, I don't know. It's been very strange because I also feel kind of okay. So, um, but anyway, as I've been getting this happening, I've had a lot going on and visitors. So I haven't rested nearly as much as I could. So I'm resting now and through the rest, I was able to clear more of those thoughts. And then I was staring, looking at these zinnias with basil in my kitchen. And all of a sudden, it was like the creator beings like put the lens on me. And I'm telling you, I, my vision was pure perception. And it was really poor. And it just did not feel good. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh my god, I've been looking at this all wrong. And... The guides are reminding me like this is part of the process for these low emotions and ideas and energies and situations to come up so just be okay with that but it's really hard because it doesn't feel good okay so depth depth bringing into creation a large shift that is like having a large baby it takes extra time to bring it through consider the largeness that you are here to create this is to everyone <sighs> You've all mastered happy, nice, and outgoing, and now it is time to embody love. In a world that makes it all so complex, I loved this, where you have a world that gives you choice A and B, and they're both unloving, so you do your best with the unloving choices when this love is actually actually secret option C. So I kept that kept they kept giving me images of the political system and I'm not against or for either candidate. Um, but the guys and I are like, how real is this? And also it's the perfect example of where society gives you, you can only choose this or this. So then you feel like you can only choose those two things 
but what they're saying is that there's always a secret option C that's really loving. And so that is part of the work for us light workers right now. We're looking for secret option C. And so that is something, wow, that was, that was cool how that came through. Secret option C in a world that presents these choices that always kind of seem lose, lose. Secret option C. So that, so there's a depth to that. And they said, you know, just like digging a hole or mining for gold, you're not going to hit it on the first you know, dig. <laughs> That'd be a good thumbnail. <laughs> so, so yeah, so keep digging. They're saying depth. So we have intuitive communicator, authentic, and depth, freedom and love, obviously. Okay, the next value is honoring sickness. So they said sickness what they were saying because they said a lot but I wrote down as much as I could when people get sick they freak out because they're sick and then they immediately go outside of themselves to get a name for their sickness to get medication for their sickness and this is fine but what the guides want you also to know is that when you are sick all that means is you are being transmitted an important message so if you don't feel good you should look at it as there's an email in your inbox and there is a message there for you. And so it is when you honor your sickness, that is how you can learn the message because you get so off track or the thoughts are so whatever it is, something is off track and the sickness is going to heal it. And they said to me, that's why you get sick so much. I literally had a vision earlier of this girl I used to lifeguard with. who would always be like, you're sick all the time. <laughs> So I always had little colds and stuff. Um, and so what they're saying is that I get sick a lot because I'm learning how to heal all. And it's all an experiment with different ways of living, with simple and loving living. So that's how I've been guided to heal. Um, I always feel guided to whenever I get sick, just start by what are the techniques I know how to heal. And then if I need more help, I'll get it. And so far, so good. So I feel like I normally get the message. And even today, like after these headaches and feeling hot and all this stuff, that was my body saying, oh, there's an email in the inbox and you're gonna need some time and space to unravel the answer. So yeah, so honoring sickness. So instead of looking at, it as, looking at it as bad, because COVID, that's another thing that, you know, the pandemic sort of did, it made people afraid to be sick because nobody wanted to be around sick people. So people were afraid to even admit that they were sick, which is interesting because my guides, they like lo they love when I'm sick, and I love it too. It is a time and space where you just kind of get to do your own thing, and it's something I'm working on bringing into my normal day-to-day -day life. Okay, and the next uh, value is stories, and this is something I've gotten from Dylan Marcus, the firm that I work for. They said stories teach, tell, and sell, and they just want us all to share. They said share you. That is what people love. They want you doesn't have you don't have to do anything else but just share you share the loving messages they also said oh channel every day so we'll see how that goes you guys can call me on that I'm gonna try and, and post just as inspired like a light light commitment I'll say um, they said just because you are the loudest it doesn't mean that you are the most heard so want us to consider that thought um, and just one more thing on sickness. They said, we like to get you real sick and disconnected from everything. And so again, and they channeled about this a little bit, but because the external world is so incoming, there is so much incoming. You literally need to build up guard walls to really discern. And, and my life has be, been highly de-busied, but I'm learning that it's getting more de-busied and that's cool. And Uncle Chris will love that. <laughs> Shout out to you, Uncle Chris. And then uh, the final message is, it's funny because I got this from a show I was watching, um, but well, the inspiration came after I watched some of this show and they said that you are in a training camp to live the biggest life possible. So that's to all of us. We're here to live the biggest life possible. So the most loving. And so the, what they've showed me is that these past few years, and there's maybe some more time again they just come back to like they really 
there's a lot of foundational work, rewiring of the system that needs to be done, but we're doing it. It would be like instead of, you know, fixing each outlet as it came up, we're going to all the electrical appliances and fixing them. They're going straight to the source of the box. And so sometimes if you just, you know, you have one outlet out and you fix it, it's easier. But they said when you go to the core and you fix the deeper stuff, which could take longer, but they're all about that, that time might be really challenging. It could be a really difficult illness. It could be just a difficult time of depression or sadness or whatever. But that rewiring is it fixes all the outlets it fixes all the appliances it it just creates a flow of energy that you can rely on and so that is some of the work we're doing now so i wanted to make this video because i was feeling really sad i was feeling um really down and sick for a while and i didn't listen because i'm not the best listener and uh, if anyone else going through that, I reached out to a few people and it turns out there were a lot of people that were feeling the same way I was. Like they wanted to disappear, that they were being entangled in different energies. And um, yeah, and so I just wanted to let you guys all know in case that was happening to you that uh, I know I might seem really bubbly and happy all the time and I really am deeply at my core, but there's been a lot of deep work that's been going on and I'm just trying to hold some space for myself and I love sharing that with you because I know you all are here on the same journey. So thank you so much for listening to this video. I love you guys so much and I'm going to leave this video off with the last thing that I channeled today. Um, and it's one of my favorite thoughts that I share with my surf clients because I love teaching surfing and I love doing it in a spiritual way and the guides encourage me. This is part of why I sometimes uh, get caught up because I get so many different ideas about so many different things and the guides are saying that it's all perfect. It, it's like a news update and here's all the different categories. So that was just the image they showed me. Like, you know, CNN has like the little bulletins. That would be kind of funny to edit, edit into this video. Maybe I will. <laughs> You'll know. Um, so this is one of my favorite thoughts to share to my surf clients. And of course the guides made it more beautiful. <clears throat> Surfing on the east coast of New Jersey is very challenging. Our waves tend to be fast, steep, and break in different locations. There is a comp complexity here to wave selection, technical and skill drop-in requiring a certain level of fitness, and varying temperatures of water and weather and patterns, all creating a complex equation that answers the question, when are you going surfing? <laughs> and um, so I'm going to leave you with that. I feel like there's a lot of metaphors for life in there. But if you are learning how to surf on the East Coast, that is something I tell my clients all the time about surfing here. So be patient with yourself. Be kind. Because if you can surf in New Jersey, you can surf anywhere. And maybe that's the same metaphor for if you can do this deep inner work, you can take your life anywhere and it's going to be beautiful. So I love you guys so much. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share if you found resonance with this video. And I will speak to you again tomorrow. Bye.